Tesla arrived in New York City in 1884 with a head full of ideas and barely a cent to his name. He was a brilliant Serbian-born inventor who spoke a dozen languages. And he came to the United States at the age of 28 with a letter from the uh, director of the Edison Company in Paris that was directed to Thomas Edison saying, I know of only two great geniuses in the electrical business. Uh, you are one, and the gentleman holding this letter is the other one. Thomas Edison hired him and put him to work redesigning DC generators. The famous story is that Edison offered to pay him an outrageous sum of $50,000 for his work. And Tesla came to him and said, uh, OK, uh, now, where is my $50,000? And uh, supposedly, uh, Thomas Edison said, uh, oh, my dear uh, Nicola, uh, you don't understand the American sense of humor. <laughs> it was the straw that broke Tesla's back. And almost immediately after that, he left uh, Edison. The brilliant inventor ended up digging ditches for a while, literally, to support himself while he was still creating. In 1887, he constructed the initial brushless alternating current induction motor. A year later, he saw patents issued to him on his motor and on the associated method of transmitting power by polyphase currents. And when George Westinghouse heard about that, it was like a light went on, an electric light went on, perhaps you might say. This was the possibility where he could see that technology overtaking everything else in the world. And he was right. Tesla's ideas would enable steam or hydropower generators to generate polyphase currents that power induction motors in machines and factories. The group of patents that Tesla had, which essentially identified the entire path from beginning to end, from the motor to use alternating current to the method of distributing the current and everything in between, it was the answer to the question that George Westinghouse had. Tesla had the answer. And unlike Edison, who was solely behind DC power, he listened to Tesla. He acquired the rights to Tesla's induction motor and polyphase patents, and Nikola Tesla came to Pittsburgh to work for the Westinghouse Electric Company. He was also able to back off a, a guy like Tesla, who, who had uh, tremendous intelligence, and, and Westinghouse realized, probably more intelligent than him, understood certainly the, the the sophistication of AC current, which is not an easy thing. Today we describe it in differential equations. It's a nightmare for e even young engineers today try trying to, to learn that. Tesla's inventions combined with Westinghouse's manufacturing skills and his ability to assemble parts of a whole system brought practical alternating current power to existence. <laughs> 